What's up, YouTube? Jonas nice 13 here with a uh, hmm with a new Skymarks 1 to 400 scale model. I think that's what this is. Um, I'm not even sure how to I'm not even sure how to attack this video. <laughs> this uh, this will not be your traditional review. This will be a little more of a review slash a, a rant, but we're gonna keep it we're gonna keep it nice and PG because you know internally I want to use some inappropriate words for this this effort well i wouldn't even call this i'd call this a lack of effort from uh <laughs> i can't even be serious about this from jimmy jets but uh as kind of mentioned in one of the videos i uh got three of these whatever this is i think it's sky marks i mean it says it says jimmy jets but it's sky marks <laughs> uh no it's jimmy jets unfortunately um this is how it was presented in the box. I mean, everything was empty or, you know, detached, I should say. It's it's very unfortunate. I mean, the only way I can describe this is the intro to this video, which was a dumpster fire. I mean, this is worse than a dumpster fire. This is a derailed dumpster fire of a put-together model from Jim I Jets. Um, <laughs> I really don't know how something like this happens. I mean, they've been doing this for 20 years now. I think they started in 98. And like, <laughs> I just don't know how a batch of planes can be so bad. And not even that the batch of planes is so bad, but I look at my A320 right now. I'm gonna bring that into the video as well. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. But it's like, when I put this together, now remember this is, when, it's unfortunate that I'm saying put it together because you know how I go about the box. It says die cast model aircraft. And I go to the back. I'm looking around. As real as it gets. Mm. I don't think this is I don't think this is as real as it gets. I think this is as fake as it gets because this is this is not good. It says it says super superior quality. I give them that. Good quality. <clears throat> I wouldn't call it highly collectible. Because I don't want this. Detailed print, I give them that. Realistic metal landing gear. If you've seen the picture of the landing gear that I put into the video at the intro, that's not realistic. <laughs> and look at this. I pull up this 320. Let me zoom in on it real quick. Mm. I don't know what part of realistic that is because that just looks discombobulated right there. Uh, that's not realistic. But, uh, Jim, I just come on now. Come on, bro. You guys got to do better than this. I mean, this is... For $35, I got to put my planes together. Because I got three of these for my birthday. And I had to put them all together. Two of them I sent back just because... It's just... It, I don't want to deal with super gluing all these 821s together when I'm paying... Or family's paying 35 bucks per plane. So, <laughs> So I just don't really know what to say to that. But I guess for the video, I can give you a nice little tutorial how to put this together. If you unfortunately did get this plane and you want to keep it, because I kept one of mine just because uh, we get like 110 of these a day in Charlotte. So I, I got to unfortunately keep one of these. Uh, but so here's you got your fuselage right here. Even the landing gear on this thing is all, all it's not as bad as that 320, but it's not as good. So. I already did the. I already put the horizontal stabilizers back together, but if you're new to this stuff, I mean, I guess I'll show you a tutorial. I don't have the super glue with me, but what you want to do if you have the same issue as I do, you want to pop some super glue right in that socket, and then let me get the appropriate wing for you. Uh, get that wing, and then you pop it in there, and then just let it sit, and then you should be good. Vice versa for the other side, pop that super glue right in there, bring that wing over. And let's sit. And you'll be good to go. So, Jim I Jets. <clears throat> um, I don't know what you guys have going on with your production. Uh, I, I want to hope you have a quality control. Because, I mean, I don't know how you expect us to pay 35 bucks, give or take, to put planes together. And... You know I I love you, Jim. I just because if you see, 
you've seen all the planes I have from you. I definitely don't have anything against you. I'm just a little frustrated with the way that the Airbus narrow bodies, because it seems to be the Airbus narrow bodies that are the ones having issues. So let me bring in an example of what I'm talking about. So let's put this together and real quick. So this this goes in here, and then I guess I'll hold it like that. That goes in there, hold it like that. I'll put the plane down, and then let's bring in the 320, and then let's bring in, I bring in the 321 from the old mold, and I bring in the 319 in from the, um, actually no, let's do this. Pop the wing off, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So you've seen the 320. Now remember, this is, this is, this right here is a CFM engine. Registration's a, it's one of the uh, CFM engines for the 321. Okay, this is a size of a Neo engine. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I put this engine right here, and I bring, actually, let me do this. Let me put the camera back down. Oh my goodness. All right, put the camera back down. Okay. So this is before the mold really started getting horrible. This, this 319, this was back when I was trying to be conservative with money. I still am just because I'm in school. So I only bought one of these. And I'm kicking myself in the butt right now because I should have bought an army of these. Because this right here is what the 321 and the 320 should look like. See, this, this is a CF engine, CFM engine, and this is also, apparently, somehow, this is a CFM engine, right here. So, doo -doo. you can see that this engine, literally, it's like I'm playing with toys now, literally, uh, let me, because I don't want to drop this, literally eats the CFM engine. CFM, eating a CFM engine, no, no sir, that's not how this works. Now, if you were to tell me that this was an A321 Neo or an Airbus Neo engine. That's exactly what it should be because this is just like the size of a Neo engine. Now it doesn't look like, like it, but it's the size of it for a model, you know, circumstance. And to compare more of what I'm showing you, here's the, this is a 320. Believe it or not, this is actually a, a regular A320. This looks just like a Neo A320, if you want in my honest opinion. Now, like I said, let's bring over the good one. This is the 319. See the difference? Unbelievable. This engine, the 320, would eat the CFM engine. <laughs> it's like 101 on engines, I guess. Here, here's another, here's another look, what I'm talking about. It's ridiculous. I don't know why. Why the 320? This, this, is a, this is not a Neo. I don't know why the Neo, or I'm sorry, I don't know why... Uh, a uh, normal A320, not the Neo, has Neo size engines when it should have this size engine. So this is this is a train wreck. This is this is a, a, a derail train wreck. Uh, <laughs> you're probably not listening, Johnny Jets, but if you are, this right here, this 319 you guys made, whatever year it was, I think it was 2016, make these again. Because these are perfect. This no moss. No moss. No more of that. This is garbage. This is good. Garbage. So, uh, this is, like I said in the video, oh, here, I wanted to bring this in. This is the old stuff right here. This is, <laughs> this is before all the antennas and stuff came out, but this is a CFM engine. That's even smaller than this, but the 319s now, like the, you know, the, when Jemai just got the antennas on the models, the planes did get a little bit bigger and, you know, a little bit thicker, I should say. So, proportion-wise, this is fine. This is looks a little smaller just because it's the old way things were done, but, you know, I just wanted to show you guys if you want to see a comparison. This is still CFM engine. This is CFM as well. Uh, let me think how I want to bring this. Yeah, this is probably the best way. There you go. So, see what I'm kind of griping at there. But, uh, let me get all that aside, and I'll try to clean up this and review real quick. Uh, there's not really much to review, to be honest with you. Uh, it's probably easier if I take everything apart to show you the plane, to be honest with you, because it'll just fall off. Uh, but <laughs> uh, the the painting, everything's perfect. Literally, everything's perfect, but the proportion of the engines and everything falling apart. <laughs> everything else is good, though. You got your antennas right there. Uh, moving down the fuselage, you know, you got your antenna on the back there, and then... Yeah, I'm not really sure what else to say. Um, here's the belly. 
And then if you want to see a fuselage look, there you go. And yeah, put together real quick and I'll show you around and we'll conclude this video. <laughs> I don't know what this was, but it's a, it's a some, somewhat of a video. And there we go. Oh dear. So I'll su out the super glue this eventually. I didn't want to do it yet because I wanted to show you guys that. But here's what it looks, you know, when it's actually a plane. It looks pretty good. Um, but I'll put up a side of what it should be mocking. Now, this is how it should be. If you can just take, like literally, if I could just take these wings off and put it right on that 321, this would look perfect. But, you know, just the footnote or the uh, cliff notes here. Gemini Jets, this is what needs to be done. The engines need to be more proportional because this is a 321. This is a Neo engine to me. Don't tell me this does not look like a Neo engine after I did all these comparisons because I'm telling you, this looks just like a Neo engine. And I'm sorry, but it, as much I I hate to hate on you guys, but that's just not acceptable. So, you know, I, I'm willing to, I'm, I don't think you'll, you'll, be, you'll be hearing this, but if you somehow do, my honest and opinion and recommendation is take what you have in this model in this mold and then apply that to this and that and any other airbus you made besides american and that's it <laughs> so um anyways i'll put the whole family together because i just realized i do have the whole narrow body family parts of it i'm <laughs> just kidding so this thing's beautiful i really wish i got more of these if i can find them on ebay i'm gonna pick them up if i can because those are beautiful so yeah, there's that. There's, that. <laughs> there's the uh, A321 review, more so as a, as a rant, but it, but it, but it's a an honest one and one that is really just to kind of wake people who are not aware of this, just that this is not acceptable. So that's all. Not, not no hate in, in in this at all. Just kind of just a little wake me up call for Gemini just because you know what I've just went over is just not acceptable for the price I and everyone else's opinion. So. Uh, I'm exhausted from that. So, <laughs> uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Give it a dislike if you want. It does not matter. Um, I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, the channel's been been getting a lot of subscribers lately, so I appreciate all the all, all the new people here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the content. It's getting a little more consistent now. But uh, thanks again for watching.